What's up everyone, this is Jalai, welcome back to another video. So I was playing around in the BIOS and in doing so, I stumbled upon a feature called Performance Regulator. Apparently, this feature tweaks something in the system which ends up making hardware perform better when it comes to benchmarking. The Performance Regulator allows us to gain a higher score for 5 benchmarking programs, namely Cinebench R15, Cinebench R11.5, Geekbench, ADA64 memory and lastly the LN2 mode. So does this actually work? Let's find out in this video. By the way, for the purpose of this video, I will check on the Cinebench R15. In order to find out if this actually works or not, let's log into Windows and note down the Cinebench R15 score with stock settings. Let's first find out the multi-core CPU score and at the end, I got the score of 1889. Now let's also find out the single core CPU score and at the end I got the score of 193 with MP ratio of 9.77. Now that we have the score at stock settings, let's move back to BIOS and set the performance regulator to Cinebench R15. In order to do that and if you have the same BIOS as mine which is the MSI Click BIOS 5, go to the overclocking settings inside which you will find an option called Advanced CPU Configuration. Choose that and you will find the Performance Regulator option. Change it to Cinebench R15, save the changes and reboot the system. Now let's run the Cinebench R15 once again and see if it actually works and surprisingly it does. At the end of the process, I got the multi-core CPU score of 1982 which is 93 points higher than the stock. And the single core CPU score was 196, which is only 3 points higher than the stock. However, with multi core score getting 93 points higher made the MP ratio or the multi core to single core result ratio also getting higher to 10.11. To conclude this video, the performance regulator definitely works. By definition, the performance regulator should only impact a specific benchmarking program. However, I would love to see if it also improves the overall system performance. If you already know it, please let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, that's been it. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more PC related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.